us is the king of the castles and the I'll show sure that I can roll. And I can even do more. And I can even chop its mouth. And the everyone. It has a green one too, but this one's uh a different green. It's dark green and light green and has a, a dude in it. And um and it has teeth and it has spikes on its back and and this dude has some net and um so so um so so it's tell us in the box that here is the end of its tail and um thanks for coming here everyone bye bye that was a good show all right thanks kaylin for that awesome intro okay guys let's take a closer look at the lennard toys jurassic clash we've got the T-Rex and we've also got the Sabertooth Tiger which looks pretty cool. I love the details on these toys so let's take a closer look. Okay guys so since I did the intro to this video it's probably been about two months. I did want to give these toys, these particular ones, a little bit of time with the boys to uh, play with before I gave a, um, a proper review on it. Now on face value these look absolutely fantastic. I love the detail, I love the colours, I love all the little different bits and pieces they included with the toys, uh, such as the little guns and, and there's little knives and the harness and the camouflage pieces, everything like that. I really, really love it. But to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in the, in the final product and I'll run you through why. Now, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these. I'll just put T-Rex over here for now. Now you've got this character here, he has his camouflage, uh, but to, to be honest, it just falls off. There is a, that doesn't even stay on there, it just, it, it's not designed to, to fit firmly or anything like that, so it just falls off. There is a little notch just there for it to clip into the back, okay, and it doesn't even stay in there, all it does is just, it just it just falls off. It comes off very easy. These stay on okay, not really. Same kind of thing. There's, they're just not designed um, well enough, in my opinion. I must admit, I love the characters. These these guys are great. There's so much um, movement and so forth in all the limbs. Swivel at the hips. They're great. Um, there's a little pocket there for his for his gun to go in there. That's really good. He's got a blade down the side that goes just in there. And all that's really good. Now, let's take a look at the saber tooth here. Once again, the detail's really good, but in the in the quality it do, it, it did fall over. So this did actually come out pretty easy in the end. There's a little lug there it only lasted 2 days, a little lug there that's supposed to keep it pressed in place snapped this came off um, once again this guy's got great that doesn't really sit in there too good it does come out very very easy um, he's got a big blade down the side there which is pretty cool and he's got his handgun and his holster on the side all oh, that's really good the, like I said the details really good um, but it just just the quality just it, it let down in the quality now one of these characters, I can't remember which one, his one of his one of their legs came off and now it just comes off all the time. It doesn't stay on there too well. Um, but once again, this character as well has got heaps of movement in all the limbs. And that's really good. All the elbow joints move, and that's fantastic. But like I mentioned, just some of the quality, little bits of quality here and there, the product did fall over. Alright, so here we have the good old T-Rex. Now, the T-Rex has got really good leg movement and stands nice and flat, so it doesn't fall over on you and things like that, which is really good. Uh, the tail is two-piece, so when you get it, you just need to 
put it together like that. Now, the arms move, which is really good. Hopefully you can see that okay. The jaw moves up and down. And it's actually got glowing eyes and does make a uh, raw sound. Now the T-Rex is no different to all the other pieces in these sets. I love the colours, I love the detail. However, one thing I did notice the other day which happened, um, which we've got lots and lots of dinosaur toys. We've got lots of them. That's the first time I've ever seen a tooth break off one of the dinosaur toys. So, look, like I said, I love all the detail and the colours and all that, but when it just comes to, the, I think, the quality of the build, um, it just isn't quite there, but it's almost there. It's almost there. And I think if they got that right, these would, these would be an absolutely awesome play sets. So I really do uh, believe that. Now, just one thing I do want to point out. If you do have little ones crawling around still and you've got older kids playing with these, just remember these little, these little guns and these little bits like that and the knives. Just keep that in mind that they, are, they, 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 they can be easily lost. So just remember that. Uh, we've actually had these just in a bag because the boys will end up losing them anyway. Um, so, yeah, there you have it. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more toy reviews, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate you tuning in and watching these. Anyway, guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one.